don't talk to strangers, you know, why are you wearing that? Mm -hmm. You know, make sure you're walking under a street light. Don't ever get in a car. Like all of these things that we just take for granted now. This is just a way of life. This is what it means to be a woman, to not be feel uh, that we're physically threatened at all times in our existence would be the most incredible weight lifted. So first of all, I think it's really impressive how the power manages to tell so many complex stories in these short bursts throughout the series. How did you make sure that each character got enough time to shine in the show? That's a really tricky question. I think it is a it is the most challenging aspect of building this show is to have six interweaving storylines that aren't automatically connected right from the get-go and you're kind of wanting to watch them being drawn toward each other slowly. So it wasn't so much a conversation about hey, this person should have more screen time or less screen time. It was really about what is the arc? Where do we start them in the beginning of the season? And where do we need them to end up? And sort of knowing what that ending point was dictates how, how much of a thread each of them got. Um, we had an incredible, ridiculous, in, insanely talented cast. And... For my money, I could not get enough of them, right? It was hard to squeeze how much we wanted to do for these characters with these actors into the nine episodes. And that's why we're really hoping we get uh, a future season because we've only just scratched the surface of, of what they can do. When it came to portraying the electricity in the show, how did you balance making it come across as powerful but not too over the top? Um... Yeah, that was something that everybody was really, from the get-go, it involved lots of departments, you know, makeup, costume, VFX, F SFX, the actors, and we had a movement coach. And it was really important to everyone that it felt really organic, because what you want is for the audience to watch, especially the female audience, and be holding their collarbone and thinking, God, what if I had that? And maybe even starting to believe that they do. And so it had to feel really organic and not superhero-y and not witchy or anything like that. It's not magical, it's an evolution in our minds. It's a, it's a natural evolution. And this does exist in nature. Um, and so we wanted it to feel like that. So that was a really important element to get right. And I think for the actors, it was about finding their own connection to the power because they all have a different type and size of power. Do you know what's really interesting about the power? I, I, my kids are teenagers, and one conversation we were having around the dinner table was about apex predators. And they said, which animals are predators on Earth? And I said, oh, a lion and a bear and, I could, and a polar bear. And I couldn't really think of any others. I looked it up, electric eels. There are only about five animals with no predators on them in the world, and electric eels are one of them. Mm -hmm. And that electricity power just keeps away all predators, which I think says so much about yeah. our story. It's really interesting. That's fascinating. <laughs> yeah. If you could choose one power for all women to have, what would it be? This one. <laughs> <laughs> Why not this one? Because it just... I, it's so electrifying, uh, but also that well, there's just such a the idea that you could walk home on your own through the park at night and the simplicity of that. I think personally is genius. But if an, another one, I'm trying to think of another one. I'm sure. I mean, I just I'm going to say this one too because I think I thought a lot about what it would feel like to not be carrying mm. the burden of fear that we're just sort of almost born with as as women, right? From the time you're a little girl, it's mm. like. Don't talk to strangers. You know, why are you wearing that? Mm. You know, make sure you're walking under a street light. Don't ever get in a car. Like, all of these things that we just take for granted now. This is just a way of life. This is what it means to be a woman. To not be feel uh, that we're physically threatened at all times in our existence would be the most incredible weight lifted. Um, so, yeah, I would say the power, the power to be safe, for, to be safe in the world. I, and I, I will, and relate, I, I won't repeat that, but I guess the sort of grounded version of that is self-belief. You know, mm -hmm. for, for mm -hmm. girls and women to grow up and believe they have the power, which they actually do, but they have been told they don't, um, mm -hmm. and to believe that they can be equal, I would just love it. When I look at, I've got a daughter, and I look at her, and she has, she's, she is treated differently in the world, and that drives me absolutely crazy, and I would love her to believe that she shouldn't be treated differently. Such a good answer, mm. Jim. 